Shalom and welcome once again to Treasures of the Torah. I'm Maury Matan, Pastor Matt McEwen, and this week we have a double portion. We are in the portions of Nitzavim and Vaelech, and we are approaching very quickly the High Holy Days. We're getting closer and closer to Rosh Hashanah and the blowing of the shofar. Why do I mention this? Because we have this wonderful comment from Sfarim HaKedoshim in the commentary series, Wellspring of Torah. Thank you for sticking with me this year, by the way, going through this commentary series. It's been such a blessing to me, and I hope you have had a blessing as well as we go through it. But the reason I wanted to, to do this particular comment uh, about the shofar is because of this verse, coming from chapter 29 and verse 17 of Parshat Nitzavim. Perhaps there is among you a root that bears gall and wormwood. <laughs> That sounds rather ominous, doesn't it? it sounds a bit negative. It sounds a bit um, accusatory. So why am I thinking of a shofar? Because let me read you this comment. The initials of the Hebrew words, shoresh, pore, rosh, vela'ana, a root that bears gall and wormwood. If you flip the letters around, you rearrange those letters, you get the word shofar. This is so cool. So it says here, this is to teach us that the sounds of the shofar can uproot from the heart the roots of evil that bear gall and wormwood. You see, ladies and gentlemen, the shofar is not a noisemaker. It's not something that we do to announce the start of our service every Shabbat. It is not something that should be treated like a toy or, or something that is um, uh, not having the holiness that it deserves. Now, in our synagogue, we blow the shofar at the, uh, the particular Shabbat in which that week, uh, the Shabbat Mavarakim, that Shabbat where we're going to have the new moon, Rosh Chodesh. And we do it, of course, you know, a hundred times uh, at, at, uh, during the High Holy Days, during Rosh Hashanah. Um, and uh, I happen to be the person at our local synagogue that blows the shofar. And every year I try to prepare of course, we do it daily during the, the period of Elul, leading up to the High Holy Days. But this is one of those things that it needs to be set aside for its specific time because it is a wake-up call. It's not something that just makes noise and it gets people excited. It is very holy and very specific. And, and if we really want to get technical, it is a rallying cry. I mean, these were signals to, to rally the troops, the children of Israel, uh, to get them ready to set out or to move or to go into battle. This is very important. And it is very powerful, the shofar. In fact, we have to be very careful how we do it to say the appropriate blessings, to make sure our heads are covered when we're, when we're blowing it as men. And there are reasons for this because the shofar is so powerful and it, like many godly things, can be misused by people with evil intentions. I'm not sure if you know this, but the shofar can even be used by people who are doing witchcraft and black magic. God forbid that we would misuse the shofar in this way. And so the shofar gives us that wake-up call. It gives us that, um, that quickening in our spirit. It wakes us up if we have been asleep at the wheel, so to speak. And so we have to do this in a very proper and kosher way. And I pray that the sound of the shofar, that as according to our sages, it will not only carry our prayers to the throne room, the throne room of heaven, to the one who is called Sarhapanim, the prince of the face, the one called Yeshua in the, in the prayer book. But we need to pray that that shofar would uproot that it would uproot from the heart the roots of evil that bear gall and wormwood. I pray that you would have that wake-up call in your life as we move toward the High Holy Days. Thank you for joining me in this double portion this week. And I pray that it has been a blessing to you and that it will convict you in your spirits and in the lives of your family and in your home. May God richly bless you at this time. Shabbat Shalom.